One beauty of the Humanities Sequence is that students are required to read extensively, intensively, and deeply. The structure of the course is that. It's more of an interdisciplinary approach to literature and learning that kind of incorporates all of the resources that Dartmouth College has to offer. You're going to read the classics. Those are going to range from Shakespeare to The Tale of Genji, arguably the first novel ever written, all the way to the poems of John Donne, Dante's Inferno. We're doing art history. We're looking at some films. Uh, this term, we were able to watch uh, an opera. The combination of looking at all of those different kinds of materials I think is extraordinarily valuable. And you're going to discuss them in class. There's a ton of discussion. The class gives us a way to connect. It also gives us the chance to band together, to think together, and to share common knowledge and common experiences. It stretches them in lots of different ways because they're reading across canons, they're reading across the globe. It's a course that can change your life. Um, it's a course that will introduce students to the best of what's been thought and said in the Western tradition and in other traditions. It is really what Dartmouth is all about. It's a liberal arts institution committed to um, the human experience. We want them to see that these are not dead pieces of literature. They're not flies in amber. They are things that actually can help us to understand ourselves. The point of the course is to open you up to a set of ideas, to a set of texts, and to a way of thinking, which I think of in terms of analytical, skeptical, rigorous thinking about important, serious issues. The thing with humanities is, is it teaches you how to think, how to analyze, how to be critical about what you're reading and what you're saying. Giving them the space early on to learn how to formulate and have dialogue with fellow students respectfully. Be able to get excited about your ideas, be able to say and hear and accept when someone says, I don't agree with you, and not feel too defensive. Those are all the kinds of things that they also learn, I think, in the discussion sections. My job as the instructor of the class was to teach them to link their deep immersive reading with writing that is also deep and immersive and analytical of that reading. The thing that I took away the most from the course was primarily confidence. I think going into freshman fall, it can be very scary to come into a class and be expected to speak and to contribute. You do really have to do your best work in the class, and it's a challenging class. But you're given the tools to help you, and those tools don't end with the end of Humanities too. They continue with you. It allows you to have a place to discuss anything. Um, and above all, it's just a really challenging course, um, which can be intimidating, but also beyond rewarding. It's the kind of course that really is perfect for somebody who wants their first year to be as exciting and open as it can be. The Humanities Group is a community, and it's a very cool community because people come from crazy different backgrounds. People from all over the country and all over the world. There's a very interesting dynamic there where everyone's bringing something different and everyone's very interested in keeping the discussion on point. I would recommend it to any student who really has a passion to learn. And I say that because you will learn. And you will learn things you didn't think were possible. You will look at yourself in new ways. Any student coming in to Dartmouth can and should do courses like this. And so I hope you know, they would apply for it. None of these students coming in should feel that this is beyond them. Uh, it's just not, it's, it's just not, as long as they've got that fundamental curiosity. It is the most rewarding thing you could do with your first couple of quarters at Dartmouth, and I really believe that.